Welcome to the introduction of MetaTrader 5 integration with futures, with AMP futures. Uh, for those of you that are not familiar with MetaTrader 5, uh, MT5, also known as uh, MT5, MetaTrader 5, uh, MT4 as well. So traditionally, this platform is a, was only available to use primarily for Forex trading, currency pairs. And now at AMP Futures, we have the ability to offer this particular platform to trade futures. Uh, so as you can see on the screen right now, I have futures instruments coming into the MetaTrader 5 platform. And in this short introduction video, we're just going to show you how to get started when you first log into the platform. Uh, you're going to see you know, basically a section that contains basic information uh, that you'll need to know in terms of getting started with the platform. Or we're going to take you through key elements of the platform interface uh, where the trading platform will provide a simple and user-friendly interface. All commands uh, can be accessed from the main menu and the most frequently used ones available on the toolbars. Uh, quotes are also displayed in the market watch, uh, which you see there on the left side. And uh, also from the navigator, you can manage uh, technical analysis and control algorithmic trading tools. So we're gonna just gonna give you a general overview as we progress through this video series and show you, we're pretty much gonna dissect the platform uh, through each section, show you how to use each particular tool within the software. So hopefully by the time you're done watching all the videos, uh, you'll have a fairly good idea how to use the platform uh, that will make you feel confident moving forward. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to take you uh, through a few things. Uh, let's start with the main menu. The main menu basically contains almost all the commands and functions uh, that can be executed in the trading platform. All right, so what you have is it provides access to operations with charts, uh, analytical tools, platform settings, and other features. Uh, the main menu will consist of the following items. You'll have file, view, insert, char uh, charts, tools, window, and help. All right, so pretty straightforward, just like most trading platforms out there. This is the menu tab that you see at the top. So you have file, and then when you click on it, when you hover your mouse cursor, you'll see that it's highlighted to indicate where your mouse cursor is hovered. When you left click, or better yet, you don't even have to left click. You just hover, and you'll see the submenu that drops below each one of those menu tabs. So. Again, we're not going to go through every variation of all the functions within the submenus. We're just showing you a general overview. I'll just kind of give you an idea of the layout that you're going to you're going to see when you first log into the platform. All right, so these are the this is the main menu as we just uh, covered, and then you also have the toolbars. A uh, toolbar is basically the platform where it has three built-in toolbars. You have standard, line studies, and uh, periodicity. The toolbars contain duplicated commands and functions of the main menu. However, these commands are definitely customizable. You know, one can collect, pretty much you can do anything in, the, in, the, in terms of the toolbar. So the toolbar is pretty much this particular toolbar that you see right here. All right, so as you get more familiar with the platform, as you become more accustomed to what those icons, shortcut icons I like to call them, uh, as you start to progress with the platform, you'll see that that's, for example, zoom in. So instead of right clicking on the chart and going here to zoom in and zoom out, uh, you'll be able to use this toolbar a little more efficiently to access certain actions uh, very quickly versus right click or going through a menu to access its submenu to access uh, to access that particular action itself. All right, the, as mentioned, this is customizable. So when you right click in the toolbar, you can go to customize, you can change a few things around. So we won't cover that in detail now, but this is what the toolbar looks like. So let's move on to other variations of the workspace. You also have the market watch. The market watch window will provide access to the price data of financial instruments, prices, statistics, and tick charts. It also provides details of contract specifications and one-click trading options. All right, so the market watch here is ideal if you want to look at a variety of different markets that you may be interested in trading or perhaps just plotting in terms of data. As you can see, these are all futures instruments. So for those, again, that are familiar with MetaTrader 5, uh, you probably know it morally as a Forex platform. Uh, Expert Advisors, EA, is the proprietary coding language that's utilized within the software, which is uh, fairly popular. So now you're able to utilize EA code and as well as use any type of EA tools that you already were using on the Forex side, now along with futures, with AMP futures, because we offer it as a futures trading platform. And this is the market watch. So you can see, you can see the bid, the ask, the last, total volume. If you left click, you can see that each one of the instruments are highlighted. And then when you right click on the selected instrument, you'll have a sub menu of different actions that you can perform once you access the context menu within the market watch window itself. So, for example, if I click New Order, you can see that it simply pulls up a basic trade ticket where I can fire off a trade immediately. And we'll go ahead and show you how to do that as we progress forward. Moving on, we also have the chart itself. 
Uh, the essence of technical analysis is studying price charts of financial instruments using technical indicators and analytical objects. Charts in the platform have a variety of settings so that traders can customize them and adapt to their personal needs. So obviously every trader is different from one another. Uh, every chart can display 21 time frames, whether you're using a one minute time frame or a one month time frame. So you have a lot of flexibility in terms of what you can do on the charts. This is the chart that you see here. This is a December mini S&P chart. Uh, you can see the symbol on the top left corner. I have different options. I can close the depth of market if I don't want to see it. If I want to see it, just simply click there. You can also show the trade panel as well. So it just simply allows you to place trades right off the chart. Again, we'll go ahead and cover that more in detail as we progress forward. And that is what the chart looks like with a couple indicators on there, such as the uh, stochastics and MACD. Uh, you also have the chart switch bar. So the chart switch bar is just fairly simple. It's a chart selection bar which provides quick access to open chart windows. So you can see here at the bottom I have multiple charts open. Uh, that right there, for example, is the mini NASDAQ chart. So I was kind of playing around with a few settings. By default, it comes with a black background as a bar chart with green candles. But if you tab the tab, you can see different instruments. So if you add multiple charts, even though you only see one chart, you can tab the tab on this little chart toolbar here so you can switch from one instrument to another, which makes it easy to access multiple instruments. And then you also have your toolbox. Uh, the toolbox is a multifunctional window that provides functions for working with trade positions, news, account history, alerts, internal mailbox, program logs, expert journals. Additionally, from the toolbox, you can open and modify various orders and manage trade positions. So the toolbox is this particular function at the bottom of the platform here. And if you notice, uh, this is my account balance on my demo account that I'm using. That's my free margin. That's my equity. So balance, usually start of day balance, exposure, history, how many, you know, in terms of transactions that I've executed throughout the day. So I was kind of playing around just placing some buys and sales. You can see my profit and loss there at the bottom. Uh, you have a news ticker flash, which is kind of cool. So you can access different news events that come in. Uh, and you'll see actual chimes or alerts that come in as those, those news, news events come in. You have an internal mailbox. So there's a lot of different things that you can do from the toolbox. It is a, uh, a multi-dimensional function that you can use in terms of accessing different actions or tools that you'd like to use at your leisure. All right, so that's what the toolbox is of, uh, better. That's the toolbox. You can choose if you want to see it or if you don't want to see it. I find it's pretty useful, so I, I would probably say it'd be best to leave it there, but it's all personal preference. Then you also have your status bar. It's on the bottom right corner of the platform. The status bar basically contains additional details uh, such as server, connection indication, the name of an active template and profile, as well as command prompts and price data. Uh, fairly simple. Just It's pretty much right at the bottom of the platform there, as you can see. This, uh, I don't know what that 9702 represents. It might be the uh, internet speed, 33 kilobytes. I'm not sure. I have to double check on that. But that's what that status bar represents there at the bottom as you, as you see that number moving around. All right. And then as we move forward, we also have account and chart details. So the account and uh, chart details is the platform header above at the top of the, uh, the platform workspace. It basically contains information about the current account number, application name, as well as the active chart name in this time frame. All right, so that's at the, uh, at the top toolbar there. And then you also have, this is pretty cool, that the search function within MetaTrader 5. The trading platform provides a smart, high-performance search system to help you find required information in the MQL5 community, uh, which is a community of traders and developers. So the uh, MQL5 community resource contains documentation, trading form, blogs of traders, analysis, as well as articles about programming and terminal use, the community provides access to the huge code base and the store of applications for the platform. Uh, trading operations of professional traders can be copied uh, through the online signal service. All right, so the, the search toolbar here is right here at the top right corner. If you click this, this basically allows you to search within the MQL5 community. So uh, for those of you that are coming from the Forex side who are used to using MetaTrader 5 are probably fairly familiar with this. It's a very in-depth community that uh, gets involved in sharing ideas as well as interacting with one another. So it's a great way uh, to kind of uh, have a social media aspect of using this particular platform, but you have the search toolbar on the top right corner of the platform, which makes it easier for you to search on certain subjects. So if you're just interested in maybe about coding in EA or expert, uh, using, uh, utilizing expert advisors, you might want to type in something on that little search box there, and then an article will pop up, and you can go ahead and start digging in and, and, and reviewing and and kind of just seeing what information you can find that may be useful to you. All right, so that's what that particular search button does there at the top, uh, which is, again, the 
search toolbar that's provided within the MetaTrader 5 platform. Another thing as well is you have the MQL5 community chat. It's a chat box on the top right corner, which I'll show you in a moment. Uh, it gives you the ability to chat with your friends and fellow traders, again, from the MQL5 community straight from the trading platform. So it's almost like a direct chat function built within the software. Uh, the chat maintains the history of messages, so it archives them, as well as it features a number of unread messages. Uh, to start a chat, just simply log into your MQL5 account directly from the chat window or the platform settings by going to tools, options, and the community, and then you're right into the actual chat function. So it's right here. When I click on it, this is what the login looks like. So you would have to create or register for an actual username and password. Once you are able to do that, you can get right in there and start interacting with other traders that are part of that community. So again, it's a, it's a really cool social media aspect of the platform. Uh, it just gives you the ability to be hands-on and start interacting with people that are using this platform or if you want to find information about uh, the platform in general, you can always utilize those particular functions. Then you also have your data window, pretty straightforward. The data window features accurate price information as well as currently used indicators and expert advisors at the selected point of chart. All right, so let's go ahead and just close this little chat window here for now. And this is the data window right here. So right now my mouse cursor is not hovered over the chart, so therefore you don't see any values. But watch what happens when I hover my mouse cursor. So that's what it means by point of cursor. So wherever your cursor is located on the chart itself, you can see those values will begin to move depending on your location of where your mouse is hovered. All right, so this would be, a, of course, a pretty common tool among most platforms, and that's what the data window represents. And, of course, you have your depth of market. The depth of market displays information about buy and sell orders for a specific futures contract at the best prices closest to the market price. The depth of market also includes a tick chart on in which the times and sales data of transactions are displayed. So transactions appear as colored circles. The colors show the direction. The size means the volume of the transaction itself. All right, so in this case, you can see here, this is what the depth market looks like. Again, we'll go ahead and cover how to use every variation of what I'm demonstrating through this general overview introduction video in more detail so you know exactly how to use each function. Uh, just morally giving you a basic overview of what to expect when you first log into the platform. So this is the, uh, again, depth of market function. This is the tick chart that I just mentioned. So as you start to place trades, you'll see those transactions pop up in this little tick chart, and you'll see little bubbles. And the, the, the size of that bubble will dictate how big uh, the, the contract size. So if you execute like a 50 lot, for example, the bubble you, will probably be bigger. Or if you execute a one lot, it will probably be smaller versus a larger transaction. And this covers the quick introduction to the trading platform in terms of just what to expect when you first log in. Uh, now we're going to start moving forward and start covering each section, uh, section by section. We're going to show you how to use, for example, depth of market watch list, uh, show you how to use, or market watch, show you how to use the actual charts themselves, how to utilize and navigate through the toolbox, how to add indicators, and so forth. So hopefully by the end of the video series, you'll have a better understanding of how to use the platform. Uh, in the meantime, if you have any other questions about this, feel free to contact our 24-hour support team. We are available around the clock. So as long as the markets are open, you can reach us at 312. 893-6400, extension 1, gets you transfer over directly to our help desk. In the meantime, definitely stay up to date on our YouTube channel. We're very proactive in keeping you up to date on new products such as this. Uh, you can always go to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Again, that's www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Uh, please uh, show your support and don't forget to subscribe. Other than that, we appreciate you tuning in. We'll see you next time. Happy trading. <music>